Now you've seen that when x cubed minus 7x minus 6 is divided by x plus 1, the quotient is x squared minus x minus 6. The remainder is 0. Because f of minus 1 is equal to 0, x plus 1 is a factor. We can now say that x cubed minus 7x minus 6 is equal to x plus 1 into x squared minus x minus 6. These are two factors of x cubed minus 7x minus 6. This is a linear factor, and as you know, this is a quadratic one. We will now get three linear factors, x plus 1, and we will then factorize our binomial, which is going to give me x and x minus 3 and plus 2. So now our cubic expression, x cubed minus 7x minus 6, has been factorized into three linear factors. When you have a quadratic expression, you get you factorize it into two linear factors. Cubic expression factorized into three linear factors, x plus 1 into x minus 3 into x plus 2. I would like you to have a look at example 6. Page 153. And now I am actually going to do question 3, exercise 3, page 155. And that question reads when show that. 2x plus 1 is a factor of 2x cubed plus x squared minus 8x minus 4. We have to show that 2x plus 1 is a factor of that. In other words, when this expression, f of x, equal to that, is divided by 2x plus 1, the remainder is 0. Let's do it by using remainder theorem. The divisor is 2x plus 1. So we say 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. That means that x is equal to negative a half. So now we have f of x is equal to 2x cubed plus x squared minus 8x minus 4. I'm now going to show that 2x plus 1 is a factor because I am going to get f of minus a half. And let's see what happens f of minus a half is 2 times minus a half minus a half cubed plus a half squared minus 8 times minus a half squared minus 8 times minus a half minus 4. And that will give me minus 2 over 8 plus 1 over 4 plus 4 minus 4 2 over 8 as you know is a quarter so minus a quarter plus a quarter plus 4 minus 4 is equal to 0 therefore 2x plus 1 is a factor. Of f of x. 2x plus 1 is a factor of f of x. In other words, 
f of x now is equal to 2x right 2x plus 1 multiplied by the quotient when 2x cubed plus x squared minus 8x minus 4 is divided by 2x plus 1 but the first, we are now going to have to divide 2x cubed plus x squared minus 8x minus 4. We're going to divide that by 2x. I put here quotient. My quotient is going to be what I get when I divide 2x cubed plus 8x squared minus plus x squared minus 8x minus 4 by 2x plus 1. Right, we are now dividing that by 2x plus 1. As we did before, 2x cubed divided by 2x gives me x squared. x squared multiplied by 2x gives me 2x cubed plus x squared. That was step number 2. Step number 2. Step number 3, we subtract. And here they both cancel. So I bring down minus 8x minus 4. 8x divided, minus 8x divided by 2x gives me minus 4. That gives me min, multiply minus 8x minus 4. Again, subtract and I get 0. So I've now divided my polynomial by the factor 2x plus 1 and I am getting as my quotient x squared minus 4. So uh, 2x cubed plus x squared minus 8x minus 4 is equal to 2x plus 1 into x squared minus 4. And now we will factorize x squared minus 4. So we get it's actually equal to 2x plus 1 into x plus 2 into x minus 2. So that is my cubic expression. It's now factorized into three linear factors. We're now on to what we call factor theorem. You will remember that yesterday... I said remainder theorem states that if f of x is divided by x minus k until there is no further x, then the remainder is equal to f of k. It can be f of k, it can be f of, if it was divided by x minus 1, it would be f of 1. Now, factor theorem states if f of k is equal to 0, then x minus k is a factor of f of x. In other words, again, if f of x polynomial is divided by x minus k and f of k is equal to 0, then x minus k is a factor of f of x. If the polynomial f of x is, divi is divided by 
x minus 1 and f of 1 is equal to 0. x minus 1 is a factor of f of x. And this is, in fact, one of the ways we get the factors of a cubic expression, which we have already done. Right, how many minutes have we got there? Ten. Ten, okay. Do you think we just take a pause for a minute? Yeah. Solving cubic equations. That means we will first of all have to factorize, and we will factorize using the remainder theorem. So what we're going to do is we're going to solve 2x cubed minus 2x squared minus 10x plus 6 equal to 0. That is a cubic equation, and we are going to solve that to get the value of x. Now, the first thing I'm going to have to do is factorize. f of x is equal to 2x cubed minus 2x squared minus 10x plus 6. So, I will try to see is f of 1 equal to 0. If f of 1 is equal to 0, then it means x minus 1 is a factor. Let's check. f of 1 would be 2 times 1 cubed minus 2 times 1 squared minus 10 times 1 plus 6. That is 2 minus 2 minus 10 plus 6. 2 minus 2 minus 10 plus 6 is going to give me a remainder of minus 4. Therefore, x minus 1 is actually not a factor. x minus 1 is not a factor. So I will try x plus 1. If x plus 1 is a factor, then I must substitute f of minus 1. f of minus 1 will be 2 into minus 1 cubed minus 2 into minus 1 squared minus 10 into minus 1 plus 6. That will give me minus 2, minus 2, plus 10, minus 2, minus 2, minus, uh, plus 10, plus 6. I think I've gone wrong there somewhere. Minus 2. Check if my question is right. It's minus 10x plus 6. Sorry, my question actually is minus 6 here. Sorry, I was just wondering how that could have happened. That's minus 6. This would still be minus 6. So, in fact, my remainder in the first question, first time, was actually minus 16. Right. Here, my remainder is now going to be 0. Minus 2, minus 2, minus 6. That gives me minus 10 plus 10, and that's going to be equal to 0. Therefore, x plus 1 
is a fact return. We saw if, you, if we substituted f of 1, we get our remainder as minus 16. That would be minus 1, but uh, and this is minus 1, so that's minus 2. Um, minus 2, um, that would be minus 2, minus 4, minus 10. In fact, my remainder there is actually minus 20. Sorry about that. So substituting f of 1. Could you, could you wipe out that video? No, you couldn't. Mm -hmm. No, okay. Do I have to start all over? Yeah, if I start all over. 